Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Good day. Felder, Dr. Field here. How are you? Good morning, Dr. Phil McGraw. Thank you so much for joining us, and I heard you brought Dr. Kushner with you. Got her right here, Dr. Kushner. Good to be here. Thank you so very much. I want to let you guys know that we have an opportunity to change people's lives, and I know that's what you do every day, Dr. Phil. Uh, let's talk diabetes, and if I could start with Dr. Phil, and then you give us the medical platform. Dr. Kirshner, Dr. Yes. Phil, tell us about diabetes. Tell us what you know and why you know this. <clears throat> well, over 25 years ago, I was diagnosed with uh, type 2 diabetes right there in Dallas, Texas. And um, when I got the diagnosis, they said, look, this can't be cured, but it can be managed. And you're going to have to be really active and do your homework and get involved. And so I've done that over the last 25 years. And what I've done now in partnership with AstraZeneca is to create um, a website called onitmovement.com where I've taken all of my experiences from a patient perspective and reduced them down to a six part plan for managing this disorder. And it includes things like building a team with your healthcare provider, with your spouse, you being an active member of the team, those people that are in your life, a nutritionist that have the ability to impact uh, your, your, the course of this disease, replacing bad habits, learning to make small changes that add up across time. It begins with education and it ends with a plan that you can stick to. So I, I've taken 25 years of managing this disease and says, here's what's worked for me. Every diabetic is different, but there are some real commonalities, and I think this plan is going to help a lot. Dr. Phil, hold that thought, because I'm going to go to Dr. Kirshner. Dr. Kirshner, in a quick synopsis format, what is diabetes? Because I don't think a lot of people know. Well, there's basically two types of diabetes. There's type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is basically where the body destroys the pancreas that produces the insulin. So these people have to have a replacement of insulin because the pancreas can no longer provide insulin. And then there's type 2 diabetes, which has more of a hereditary component. And with type 2 diabetes, the insulin that you do have doesn't work really well. It doesn't work to get the sugar into the cells. So the brain sees itself as starving. And a lot of times patients present with an intense hunger, intense thirst, frequent urination. These are very symptoms common to both types of diabetes. And over time, that insulin has to require, often requires medication to help stimulate that pancreas to produce more insulin and to work more effectively to get the sugar into the cells. Such a clear explanation. I got to ask you real quick. It says that 28 million Americans have type 2 diabetes and another 6, 86 million are at risk for developing type 2 diabetes. Can I say why? Well, we really don't know exactly why. You're asking a question as to why there is this worldwide epidemic. It may have something to do with the environment. It has something to do with a clear picture we cannot paint. It's not just all diet related. We're not completely clear. But what we are clear about is that you can effectively manage type 2 diabetes. And what a person does with type 2 diabetes makes a tremendous difference in how that condition feels. People will feel better if they can make dietary changes, exercise changes. The body loves to respond to positive changes. So you want to remind your audience that small steps make a big health difference. 
I love your your explanation, Doctor. I got to come Thank and talk you. to you personally, Doctor Phil. It. Let me ask you. I didn't think you'd bring anybody but the best, Doctor Phil. Of course not. Let me a- let me ask you. You you're really really impacting people by by coming forth with living with this. How is it living with a long term chronic something? Well, you know, it's what you make it. If you if you put yourself in a victim role and you feel sorry for yourself, then it can be. Uh, just really terrible and you can wake up every day saying woe is me or you can marvel at your ability to have an impact on your body and your disease and I have observed myself exercise mastery over this disease and when I get the rewards for doing it which you do you start doing some of these things and you begin to feel better right away and once I do that and I go, wow, I have the power to do this. I have the ability to do this. You don't feel like a victim. You feel empowered. You feel like you have the ability to impact your own health. And that's a good thing. So I don't want people feeling like, woe is me, I have a disease. What I want them to do is say, wow is me, I have had an impact on this. And I think that's how people feel when they see the results of their efforts. And that's what I think they'll get when they go to onitmovement.com and see the steps, listen to the video explanations I have there, read the steps, read the list, I think they'll come away I've got saying, I've got the toolbox I need. Dr. McGraw, Dr. Kirshner, thank you so very much. Dr. McGraw, what can we look for, for you on TV doing? You're doing so many things. Oh, listen, we've got a whole lot of stuff coming up on uh, the Dr. Phil show, and I think uh, we've got some very... Uh, breaking news stories that you're going to be seeing in the next four or five days that I can't reveal right now because um, they're very confidential. Uh, But people, when they see it, they're going to go, oh, now I know what he was talking about. We got some big things getting ready to happen. Well, you know, you're our Texas guy who made it big. We love you and Robin. So thanks for being a guest on the Valder Beebe Show. And Dr. Kirshner, thank you for accompanying Dr. Phil. We really appreciate it. Thank Thank you, you, Valder.